Uh, good practice yesterday. Uh, like uh, you know how we're preparing right now. Uh, I think the intensity level uh, hopefully will be uh, uh, the same today. Uh, from an offensive standpoint, you know I think uh, talking to Al, they uh, got a lot of good work done yesterday. Uh, and defensively, uh, I would say the same thing. I think both coordinators were were pleased. I mean, not happy, but pleased. Uh, with the preparation that we have. Were the practices so far you think it's good last week? Okay. Was the practice as good as what you saw last week? You see uh, I think it was comparable, you know. Um, uh, I think um, coming off the bye week and not playing for a week, I think you always have a little more intensity, you know, it seems like. So uh, I, I think they're comparable. Dealing with Sheila Hawks, we talked about it a little while on Monday. Do you do anything differently in practice this week versus a different week? I mean, there's a scout team, right. but I mean, is, it, is it specific drills or anything? or just? The... You know, I we do, um, and I've always done it with defensive linemen. We do a, um, a little at the end, after practice, and chase the rabbit, we call it. Okay. You know, drills where, you know, you instill a, a mindset and a mentality. I think with, with us going so much against each other, you know, obviously 16 is kind of hard to uh, corral once in a while. So I think that helps us as a team when you're playing against a guy like Shio House. But they don't do too much, you don't do too much ones on ones in the season. Though. Yeah, we do. Oh, in, in the season? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, we'll still, uh, we got to have that speed. Okay. You know, we'll do full line for 16 plays on Tuesday. Um, we'll do first down drill. And, Third down drill today, and so yeah, we we still get after it. What do you mean by chase the rabbit drill? Eh, you know, you ever tried to catch a rabbit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're hard to catch, so you gotta stay after them and take angles. Have you ever tried to catch a rabbit? No, I have not. <laughs> you sensed in Devin Gardner becoming more receiver esque, I guess, in terms of route running and the nuances of the position. Yeah, I think so. I think it's you know the experience factor. Um, you know, you play against our guys a little bit, and, you know, we, we give them different looks. But I think uh, then you play against new people every week, and it's a little bit different how they want to play too deep, how they want to play man inside or outside. Are they going to be physical at the line of scrimmage, or are they going to play off? I mean, there's a lot of different ways, and the more he sees it, I think the better he gets and the better he reacts. You guys left a lot of points in the field in red zone last year yeah. against Illinois. How big of a discussion time? Well, we did last week too. Right. You know, so that's been a big part of it. And I think right now they're the second uh, um, in the league in red zone defense, so they're playing well down there. I think it's second. Um, uh, they're playing well down there, and they're playing really good third down defense. How, how would you rate how Beckman has done in his first season at the home? That's not for me to say. I'm not there every day. Well, I know he's a good football coach. Just you yourself being a year removed from, you know, coaching transition to a new program. Yeah, everybody's different and every situation is different. Brady, how do you, how would you like your returners to judge punts? Say it again. How would you like your returners to judge punts? When they're I'd like them to catch them all and judge them correctly. What do you tell them, though? Well, you give a lot up to that guy because it's important. He's the one there doing it every day. He's the one uh, practicing it. I think... Uh, Jeremy's done a nice job. I, I, I have a lot of faith and trust in him. <coughs> you know, Dilio's pretty good back there, and Darbo is a guy who uh, does a nice job, you know, practice-wise while we're going through it, and Fleet's getting better. So it, it, I think there's four guys back there that uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, uh, faith in, but obviously um, we think um, Jeremy's the best. Al talked about the tight end position yesterday beyond what everybody sees with Funches. How happy are you with uh, Williams and really that position in general? You know, John, I, I would say we're, we're a work in progress there too. I mean, you got two young guys who, uh, um, you know, playing big boy football. And so uh, uh, I think they're learning every week. I think we can be more physical there. I think as they grow and they're womanized and they're all those things, uh, you'll see that with them, which will lead to maybe a little more movement at the line of scrimmage. I think Mike Kwiatkowski, you know, has really um, 
done a pretty good job. You know, I think he's gotten better, um, and he's been called on to get better. So, uh, and then uh, you know, Brandon's practicing, and he's kind of back out there. So. Um, <laughs> Could Brandon a, play this week, or is he? Could we'll see. Is that a, a common phrase in the in the building? Getting well-manized. Yeah. 